3589 Now, it doesn't happen often, but just so you guys know, if you rack up enough building code violations, these are like class 5 or class 4 misdemeanors. Like, technically, you can serve jail time. Hey, bud. How you doing? I think he I think he is friendly. As landlords, it is a new requirement in the city of Cleveland for us to get our properties lead hazard certified. Hey, good job. I don't feel like somebody's going to jump out of a closet and kill me. Yeah. I don't feel like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't get any murder vibes here at all. Of course, here on Holton Wise TV, our goal is to educate you, provide you with transparency, provide you with education on what it's like being a Section 8 investor in the Cleveland market. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Holton Wise TV, giving it to you straight. All right, Cleveland, what do I have for you guys today? What do I got? Literally, I don't even remember. What do I got? Oh, it's right here. Just kidding, y'all. I know what I got. I got a partially occupied duplex, y'all. 3589 West 50th, all right? 44102. Bringing this to you guys less than 90K, right? One unit already got a tenant in there paying seven and a quarter. The other unit is vacant. Uh, that unit should be getting 875 when we put tenants in there. This is a legacy tenant. This tenant is in the property uh, before rents really skyrocketed here in Cleveland, right? So that's why they're paying seven and a quarter. Now, don't get me wrong, seven and a quarter for the existing tenants, not a bad rent, but we should really be getting 875 now. So 1750 is what you could anticipate getting in total market rent for this particular property right now. 89.9. Now, as you see in the footage here, of the vacant unit more or less it is fairly rent ready but that is not the full story of course here on holton wise tv our goal is to educate you provide you with transparency provide you with education on what it's like being a section 8 investor in the cleveland market it looks fairly rent ready but there's a few things few hoops few government hoops really you got to jump through right number one is the lead certification process here in cleveland this particular property is not yet lead certified y'all as landlords it is a new requirement in the city of cleveland for us to get our properties lead hazard certified lead hazard cert well lead hazard free certified free of lead hazards i guess would be the the the, the intelligent way to say that right every couple of years you got to make sure you got to get it certified that your property does not pose a lead hazard risk to your tenants, to your occupants, okay? Uh, the particular seller has not yet done that. And in fact, most uh, people selling properties in Cleveland and the real estate agents that are working for them uh, don't usually do that, address that, or mention that when they go to sell you a property. And it's not something uh, that you would find in like a title search, right? So you wouldn't necessarily know you bought a property that is an illegal rental until after you owned it for a while and the city came calling like yo bro why ain't this lead hazard certified free son here is a misdemeanor building code violation right now it doesn't happen often but just so you guys know if you rack up enough building code violations these are like class five or class four misdemeanors like technically you can serve jail time now find it very uh <clears throat> rare and unlikely that you will serve jail time but i have seen uh people sentence to small amounts of jail time for building code violations. Now, these are typically like egregious repeat offenders. Uh, but the moral of the story is nobody can guarantee you that if you just uh, skirt the law and don't take care of building code violations that you could never be put in jail. It's an unlikely scenario, but it is a possible scenario. And I think it's very important that you guys know that. I don't like that a lot of Cleveland sellers and Cleveland uh, real estate agents aren't knowledgeable on this lead certification process. It's a new rule, so not a lot of people know about it, but I think it's very important that we all learn about it. As such, I've also made a half hour video that explains how to get your properties lead certified. You, of course, need to do that on this particular property. I'm going to link that to the notes below. So 
what we have in summary is 89.9, one tenant in there paying a little bit under market rent, very easy. Give them a 30 day notice when their mo- uh, lease goes month to month in a few months, right? Move them up to market rent. Put the other tenant in there at 875. Get it lead certified and clear off the building code violations. Now you'll see some building code violations as well, uh, either on the side of the screen next to me, why I'm like waving at it, or maybe they, my guys just put it on the full screen and you can't see me, <coughs> and you're just looking at the entire list. Why I cough up a freaking lung? <coughs> we just adjusted uh, some of the ceiling tiles in my studio, so I'm currently wafting in. Uh, ceiling tile dust. What the hell, Tom? Why didn't you clean that up uh, before you sent me in here, you dirty bastard? But anyway, <coughs> as I try not to die from uh, huffing in all this dust, I just want to reiterate to you guys that it's very important you don't allow your tenants to huff in lead-based paint dust. So you got to clear off all the violations on the screen, right? A lot of these are going to overlap with work you would have had to do to get this thing lead certified. So I can't give you an exact price on how much all of that work is going to cost because, as you'll see when you watch my lead certification video, uh, the actual process uh, of going in and um, getting the the building completely lead certified, because this this list here is – known violations, but there could still potentially be more when you go through the lead certification process. Uh, So it's kind of up in the air. Uh, If I had to guesstimate just being somebody who's done $200 million worth of deals in Ohio and manages a $75 million rental portfolio with like hundreds of duplexes like this, I would say uh, we're going to be above 5K. Okay. I definitely would think we're going to be in the five and up range uh, to do that. Could be more. Doubtful it'll be less. Uh, that, that That's like where my gut is. But again, I can't really give you any more narrowed down estimate on that. Uh, you'll have to watch the lead certification video for more info on why that is. But either way, folks, uh, for what I assume will be less than an all-in investment of 100 k you could be bringing home 1750 in a popular neighborhood on Cleveland's west side, folks. If that makes sense to you, you're interested in moving forward. Simple process to put in your offers. Send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Let us know how much you want to offer, and if you're financing the property, include your proof of funds. So, you know, be like, yo, guys, 3589 West 50th. I want to offer 90K financed. Here's my pre approval letter, and then we'll reach out to you. Same if you want to do it cash. Same process, of course. We wouldn't need a pre-approval letter. We would just need uh, like a statement or a screenshot of your bank account. You could go ahead and black out uh, your specific account numbers. We are not currently engaged in um, identity theft. That is not our gig right now. But who knows? You got Biden in the White House. The economy's getting wild. That may change in the future, you know, if he completely kiboshes the real estate market and the economy. We may, may need to look in. Uh, to some identity theft. And, you know, that that would be unfortunate for you. So I say let's just go ahead and eliminate all those temptations and have you just black out all your account numbers here up front so we don't got to worry about that. Oh, one more thing. Uh, again, we're all about transparency. If you guys are interested in touring that vacant unit, Holton Wise will get you in whenever you need to get in. As many of you who buy properties from us or frequently watch Holton Wise TV know, uh, we don't mess around with the tire kickers bothering tenants, right? We're not going to just have you go in and upend these people's lives. And every time somebody wants to look at a property, uh, we go through the hassle of disturbing the tenants. That's that's not the game we play, folks. Uh, for those of you who are new to investing in real estate, you guys got to understand something here. Like when you deal with selling a rental property, and again, I've sold $200 million worth of them, and a lot of them are priced at around this price, like around 100 k right? So uh, you go ahead and see how many times you got to sell a $100,000 asset to get up to $200 million, right? I've done thousands and thousands of transactions in my life, and I will tell you, for every time you sell a property, dude, you're talking to like... 30, 40, 50, 60 particular buyers, right? So say I talked to you and we talked to 60 buyers for one particular property. That means 59 people 
uh, wanted to discuss or were interested in the property and they were not able to buy it because, of course, you could only sell one property to one person. So, like, mathematically, you guys can see how just logistically, mathematically, and common sense-wise, it would be freaking batshit crazy to allow that many people to bother tenants. So we don't let you do that. That's why we got the video tours. But for the empty unit, you guys want to get in there for the empty unit? Not a problem, man. Send us an email, sales at holdenweiss.com. We will get you set up to get you inside of there so you can check out the vacant unit, see what's going down. And again, folks, bring me those offers, sales at holdenweiss.com. If you'd like information on how my company can help you do the lead certification, the renovation, your property management, and your insurance, uh, you could go ahead and go to the fact at holdenweiss.com or click the notes below this video to book a call with my team and discuss that with us as well because we're here to help investors in the cleveland market we work with a lot of people from out of state so no matter where you live holton wise can be your one-stop shop to managing this particular duplex in a very passive easy way let's go oh I'll have your murder. Oh, he looks friendly. <laughs> and I yeah. have no face. I think he, I think he is friendly. Gordy. Gordy. That's the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Rick and Gordy. Rick and Gordy. <laughs> That's the monkey from Nope. Oh, for real? Yeah, I never saw that. Tears the guy's face off. Oh man, there's a guy in Nope that gets his face thrown off? Uh, a woman actually. Well, oh, a couple, so, couple people. So it's based on real life? Yeah. Because that's monkeys will eat. That's like the first thing they do. They rip your face and your dick off. You heard it here, guys. You got our seal of approval. Yeah. Hey, good job. I don't feel like somebody's going to jump out of the closet and kill me. Yeah. I don't feel like... Yeah. Yeah, I don't get any murder vibes here at all. Good. Look at that. You can get all the way in there and everything. It's like, it's like a bathroom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. It's oh, a bathroom. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Give me that beautiful bathroom footage, boys. Yeah, this is not bad. This is nice, dude. This is luxury. And you're protected from Hell the wind yeah. on two sides. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.